Good morning, everybody. This is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship, and welcome to the Ranch Road. Uh, we've already got the old Chevy here uh, started, AC cranking, ready to head over the ranch in this 93% humidity, <laughs> and uh, see if we can't get some horses uh, taken care of today. And, uh, and and because we've got some really cool guests that are down from Colorado, uh, they're down here. Um, learning how to be better cult starters, quite frankly. That's gonna be their primary job of working for the ranch up there they're working for, which is the Freeman Ranch up there in Colorado. Uh, really appreciate them, or appreciate him sending these folks down here. Um, so our emphasis here the next few weeks is really gonna be on the four cults that they brought down here and getting those guys started. Um, I can't emphasize enough how important it is for the foundation in starting our horses and starting them correctly. I, I can't emphasize that enough, but we're not gonna beat that, that old horse to death today. But what I am gonna touch on briefly is a, a thank you to so many of you folks for sending me questions, comments, and and concerns about how to, you know, how to do this or how to do that, how to fix this. And quite frankly, 90% of the, 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 the things that we do get from, from our viewers, listeners, and followers is um, usually addressing some sort of problem, fixing something, in other words. I would rather spend my time fixing things up instead of fixing things. And what does that mean? It means this. Um, I think if people focused a lot more on how to do things correctly from the very beginning, there wouldn't be near as much fixing up to do. For example, whenever I have conversations with my other professional friends and that sort of thing, we very rarely talk about problems, fixing problems. We're more concerned about, you know, how to prepare a horse better, quieter, more efficiently, or whatever the case may be, so that we don't have to go back and fix things. You see, it's 90% of the time, it's the, it's the lack of attention to the early details in a horse's training uh, that, that caused the problems later and they will show up later. That's that's what we call holes in the program. The horse will have a hole in it somewhere and what we're referring to there is is that there's something along the way of their development that they didn't fully um, uh, get ingrained in them well enough to where they can perform that particular task or that, that group of tasks or whatever well enough and then as a result they um, they have a hole they, they have a, they have a lack of understanding in there and that lack of understanding at that point in time really affects how that horse progresses in the future so I can't emphasize enough how important it is to get a better fundamental understanding of what it is to develop the positive things that we want in our horses and don't overlook things in other words don't make excuses for the horses well he's a good horse except or he's really a good horse but but see, when you when you put those things in there, now you're accepting those little idiosyncrasies that will eventually result into problems later. And therefore, we want to figure out how to fix those problems. The most important thing you can do for your horse is don't ignore or don't create those early situations so that you can avoid those problems in the future. Okay, so let's focus on that. I'd, I'd really like for people to think about laying a more solid foundation. Now, what do you guys, well, you know, some of the concerns you may have about, well, Van, I've already got a horse that's already been started. Um, so now what I do? In my opinion, you go back and you start him all over as if that sucker's never been touched. Go back to your groundwork. Go back to your round pin work. Go back to the very beginning, and this is exactly what you're going to find, because I don't care if you bring me a horse. It could be the best trained sucker in your barn, but guess where we're going? I'm going to find out really quickly where this horse's strengths and weaknesses are, because I'm going to take it back to the groundwork, and if I find any hole in that horse at all, I'll address that hole. And then as a result, I may not even see the problem that you've been talking about. We may have addressed it before we ever get a saddle on it, or we may address it before we ever swing a leg over it. And the reason why is we discovered the problem before we ever put ourselves in harm's way, you see. So that's what we really want to focus on with you guys today. I hope that really kind of plants that seed of importance and, and uh, priority in your minds today. Uh, well, I'm uh, at the ranch here already. Um, somebody inadvertently closed our front ranch gate, so I'm going to have to get out of the truck early and, and uh, go open that gate for us so we can get in there and get going. 
And uh, But nonetheless, thank you guys for joining me today on the Ranch Road. And until next time, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship.